Gary Barlow took to Instagram to reveal that after returning from a family trip to the Maldives, his daughter Emily has headed off to university. Gary Barlow shared the news with his 846,000 followers on Thursday. Using the social media platform's story feature, he wrote, Just home from a lovely family break. We said goodbye to our Emily who goes off to uni for four years. Crying emoji. The Take That star added, But we all had fun, relaxed and now I'm ready for another crazy year. Gary has been married to his wife Don Andrews since 2000. They share three children, Daniel, 21, Emily, 19, and Daisy, 12. Despite the pandemic, 2021 proved to be another busy year for the father of three, having fronted his own BBC show, I'm With The Band, back in June. The 50-year-old later released his sixth studio and his first Christmas album, The Dream of Christmas, in November followed with a deluxe edition that included an additional five songs to the 11-track project. The following month, Gary served as one of the four judges on ITV's new talent show Walk the Line, alongside Craig David, Alicia Dixon, and Don French. To say that the patient's hitmaker kept himself busy despite the world crisis would clearly be an understatement. In a recent interview with journalist Jay Rayner, Gary insisted that broadcasters should focus their attention on bringing back more talent shows to our TV screens. He recalled a conversation with show bosses who told him that programs centered around music don't work on telly anymore. We are in an age now, unfortunately, when I sit with broadcasters and they all say, music does not work on TV anymore. I never know what they mean by that. Gary replaced Simon Cowell as the head judge on The X Factor when the latter headed stateside to kick off the short-lived U.S. version on Fox. The National Television Awards winner took part in three seasons of the formerly biggest talent show on TV, serving as a judge from 2011 to 2013. However, in July 2021, ITV announced that the show had been cancelled after 17 years, having seen a considerable decline in ratings year to year.